Yeah. I pull up roto when I'm down it. I pull up roto when I'm down it. Yeah. I pull up roto when I'm down it. Hi, hotties, kettles, teasters. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. While you're here, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the post notification bell so you guys are up to date each and every time that I upload. Okay, y'all, let's get into it. I want to talk about titty thighs. It looks like Mr. Suffer Through It responded to Mel's baby mama, and at this point, it's given very much artificial beef to beef up the storyline because I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but Mel has not made any official post regarding the season and you guys know i don't know if you guys know but i know that typically when the season is about to start mail always starts off promo now i can be stretching it but those are just some things that i noticed the cancer hunter basically said with one of his mlk martin luther king put it on speeches Mel's baby mama even with that analogy i do understand and i still hold firm there's a better way but i remember a few seasons when this nutcase was sitting up there co-signing all of the bs Mel's baby mama was out here doing he ever ever only wanted to step in in this way when it had anything to do with him or it crossed paths with what it is that he had going on and those are just my opinion so mr suffer through it is basically going to have everybody suffer through another season without giving anything he's going to ride the coattails in the backs of mel and her baby mama once again he may or may not mention the bloggers and ride the coattail and the wave of the bloggers because he really ain't got nothing going on unless he attach attach himself or lack himself to other people just like it's stating that his storyline is allegedly him and titty neck and thick tongue going into business again riding the coattail of other people they can't never really produce story of their own they either ride the coattail of his son or ride the coattail of Kiowa without actually telling the truth or acknowledging the fact that your low libidoed mule was actually a side chick but Martel is basically letting it be known. And I wonder if he's going to want to sue him or have any qualms with him if Mel's baby mama end up exposing them. But I agree with some of you guys in the comments by basically saying you think this is artificial. They just keeping this up. And it's actually making sense. I think they're just trying to stay relevant, keep some drama going to basically market the show. Because I've noticed Mel has not said anything about the show coming back on. And that's probably because she's on vacation doing her thing. Well, she's not on vacation right now, but y'all know how she is. She got a lot going on. I think it's supposed to be a, a slumber party with the kids. It's a lot going on with Mel. I want y'all to get in the comment section and let me know, are you guys going to be watching this season based on the trailer? I'm not going to lie. It's just up Carlos King Alley, messy, toxic, in in my opinion, it's kind of disappointing knowing that Mel had her Mimosas with Melody event because that would have been able to kind of even out what's going on or what we see so far or a lot of the drama we see so far versus that fake ass Espo. But I'm going to try to be as positive as I can about it, but I don't know. I also, like I said, noticed Mel hasn't really been promoting it. Maybe she will start promoting it maybe she's just busy who knows but the show comes on may the 4th so you guys know they normally do a press run we'll see who start up the press run what i do know is there will be lots to debunk i did do a members only live speaking about my thoughts and opinions of this but i'm going to give a clean version later on tonight and we're going to break this down and really talk about it in depth because there's a lot going on in a lot a lot to discuss especially with this new fling mills baby mama getting more camera time nostradamus having a black owned hair care business for black women but co-signing 
a abuser and basically assisting Mills baby mama with getting more camera time when he in fact should be getting off the show. Now seeing the trailer and how messy it is, it makes sense how ambushed and embarrassed Carlos was acting when Mill was speaking about her feelings. He really, really seemed uncomfortable and like he was surprised and didn't want to talk about that because again, he immediately brought Sonny on. So I can tell he just wanted to use this moment to promote his show and not really discuss anything positive or productive. So that moment with him and Mill, I really do think put something into their relationship. Now I can be wrong and we can just be making up theories and just, oh, we just want there to be a problem with Mill and everybody on the cast. And oh, we just want to be negative. But there are just a lot of things that are just not making sense. And instead of them addressing it, they're trying to just push forward and ignore all of the flags and all of the talk that people are clearly speaking about. And a lot of that, in my opinion, has to do with Carlos's ego. Like I said, his ego felt attacked at that live show, in my opinion, which is why he's carrying on like this. And his response by saying he didn't know I changed my opinion and you guys were right he in fact did know but was just trying to use that as an excuse so he can go ahead and push the show along to messiness and drama like I said he wanted to use the live show with Mel and using that scene for the show to really kick off his live shows in my opinion Mel's live show was crowded. It was full of millimeters, and he didn't really engage on the topics that we truly wanted to discuss. And the heartfelt, heart wrenching moments truly showed his character and the way he chose to pivot because it was just the most inopportune time, in my opinion. And as a friend, when you go from something or an event like that or a moment like that to then trying to have her film with that very person when she just poured her heart out to you basically asking when were people going to step in and help her and protect her you then turn around and have her mandatory film with him I don't know y'all and I I'm, I'm just I'm just not I just I don't know something's up in my opinion Mel may start marketing it of course but just something's up but y'all get in the comment section and let me know your thoughts your opinions am I doing too much also, I wonder if he's going to actually play those moments on the show. And that's how I'll know. If he doesn't play those heartfelt moments that Mill were speaking about from the show and only play the messy parts with Sonny and Moses, that pretty much stabilizes his intentions for Mill, in my opinion, which aren't pure good intentions for her that are protective, loving, and caring of her and her circumstances. In my opinion, if he doesn't show those parts, he is literally solely in it for the coin, the entertainment. And I think that's interesting too, because somebody in the comment section over on Instagram, they said something that I thought was very interesting. And they said, so I watch a lot of his reviews on YouTube and my interpretation is that he doesn't really see them as people. He just is entertained by them and their behavior. And so whoever is funnier or more entertaining or more attractive is going to get his favor. And I absolutely agree with that. It doesn't matter how deplorable these characters may be. It seems as though he resonate more with the people that are willing to do and say the absolute most ridiculous, treacherous things because you know, those are the people in his mind that are good TV. And it doesn't necessarily push anything forward because it's not like we're bringing these characters forward so we can talk about it and we can show different dynamics. It's basically like he's just exploiting the drama of it all, but not actually getting to the resolve or any resolution. The foundation is just not stabilized in my opinion. But y'all get in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so you guys are up to date each and every time that I upload. And make sure you guys tune into my live later on tonight. 24 came in with a bank. You ain't seen this. Martell got a moonshot. Martell Holt was arrested and charged with domestic violence in the third degree. Harassing communication. Wasn't it like a text or something? Domestic violence.
Sounds terrible. But it was more communication. What if you really need to do her harm? Domestic violence is not the same as harassment communication. It's a long charge. Like, your children gonna have to see this stuff. The internet never goes away. Watch it right now. It is an adventure. I'm getting arrested for a text message that I sent Melody over a year ago, you know? He literally took a video that he and I did and was gonna have it released. My message to her was saying, stop bullying me. Some bigger restraints need to be done in holding people accountable. Why did you feel it was necessary to go and do an interview with a blogger? It's like she went low and I went lower. She got me arrested. I, she got me arrested. Listen, she didn't call DHR on me. She told y'all Make it experience cool. something of, like that. I've experienced that, Mark. You've never experienced I've been, I chose not to get a divorce. Said that when she found out you were married, she stopped messing with you. <laughs> no, that's actually what is. You're trying to make it sound you were still married when y'all hooking up. Yes, he was married. Did I know he was married? No. So do you think that this is a traitor, Chris? That's for him to address. My wife ain't gonna sign you. She ain't there. Don't call. She never was. Nail said something on social media. If you felt like you had to downplay, you've been around me to other people, then maybe you shouldn't be around me. What nail? Nail. What nail? No, I'm nail. You're doing the most. And I can't. We're gonna have a conversation. You tell me you don't do that. Don't you do that? And you said free Martel. You know what? No, that's no, no, no. free T-shirt. And then did a LOL. I should kick your in the damn way. store. It doesn't matter. As a man, listen, if you listen, see DB, if not you fair. see no, DB, there fair. should be no freedom. Man. That's the dude you chose. That's the dude you chose to be a friend with. That's the dude you, 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 you don't want to fight with. Hey, I'm Martel. All right, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Right. You, you met Martel before? Yeah. What? Yeah. We go way back. In what way? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just just one step. Yeah, like. Yeah, no. That type of situation to make people think like, damn, they they mess around before or something. Wait, huh? Y'all was a weird. No, you. It was given like we know each other in another way. She came to the house a couple times. He said it was at his house. Well, he did invite me. If we did, so we're adults. Like, hold on now. Like, I'm about to talk to someone and see what we're it about. It wasn't that serious. We ain't doing that either. Hell, no, I won't remember her ass. <laughs> hey, you need to stop talking to so many women, man. That was actually a problem. Now. You looking cool? How you doing? What's been going on? Living life, you know, dating. Yeah. That doesn't all look so cute. Look just like it's Uncle Martel. I don't know how that happened. Hold on, bring a little bit more so you can tell the truth. This nigga in a girl pole, girl bye. You know what I'm saying? She ain't with your man. Right. I don't know what this nigga does. And I don't put nothing past people. Why are my producers married Destiny's man? What I would like to do is bring Sonny and Moe to the stage. You guys are friends, right? I would say that we were too close for this. How do you want to have a career in this industry and you make moves like that? I was a producer, but she didn't really talk to me about Moses. You were someone that pursued. I was for someone. Yeah, that's what I was talking. You were for someone that was. I wasn't pursuing, pursuing anything. anything. It is incredible. Do you have to call and ask for permission though to date someone's ex? Destiny's producer. I mean, how do you feel about that? Well, I'm gonna say right now, I don't get too about it. You don't go date your friend's ex. You turn around and stab me in my back like this. Exactly. You knew what she had going on I from the point of meeting her. You love by me, name your business after my baby. Law. Justice. Justice, which is the biggest name that we were going to have. Were you with him or not? Because you said she never confided in me about this man. She's painting this picture as though I was plotting on her man. When I kept it all the way professional, it's a cousin. You get what you put out. We got side chicks, side dudes, side chicks, and side chicks. I was never side chick, baby. I'm the wife. Yeah. yeah. I pull up Roto Winner, Johnny. Yeah. I pull up Roto Winner, Johnny. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be the best. Oh, it's not in the film. It's not in the film.